Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I achieved this makeup look on the right. I used all drugstore products. I hope you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful. I try to do something very different, dramatic, bold, and glittery. This is great for prom or any type of special occasion. And if you're on a budget or you just don't want to spend money on makeup, then this is for you. And this video is in collaboration with Arlinda here on YouTube. She also did a beautiful prom makeup look, so go check her out, subscribe, and tell her that I sent you. So I'm going to start off by using the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. This is the first time I ever used it, so I don't know how I like it, but everybody on YouTube seems to love it. So I wanted to try it out. Next, I'm going to use a Milani 2-in-1 foundation. I love this foundation. I do have oily skin though, and this is like a dewy finish. So it does look very shiny on me, but I mattify it with some powder. So lately for my brows, I've been liking uh, filling them in with brow powder. So I just kind of define the shape first, and then I fill in the brow. And I'm using the NYX Brow Duo, so I just mix the two colors together. And then whatever is left on my brush, I use it to fill in the beginning of the brow. Then I comb it in with a spoolie to blend the colors in together. And to make sure that the beginning of my brow isn't too harsh, I like to stamp my finger on it to pick up any excess product. Since brow powder isn't very precise, I like to clean up the bottom of my brows with some concealer and a little tiny concealer brush and then just blend it out with my finger. Next, I'm going to prime my eyelids with this e.l.f. eyelid primer, my favorite holy grail product you guys already know. Once that's blended, I'm going to use a big blending brush to apply the number 8 shadow from the L'Oreal palette as my transition color. Just windshield wiper motions, light wash. Then I'm going to switch to a smaller brush and the darker color. And this is going to be defining my crease a little bit more, making it look deeper. So I'm just doing windshield wiper motions and then flicking it out at the ends a little bit. With the previous brush and no additional product, I'm going to blend those two colors in together. Next, I'm going to be cutting my crease. I'm going to use the number 10 eyeshadow from the same palette. And I'm using an angled brush that I used for my eyebrows because it's very small and skinny. I'm going to be looking straight ahead into my mirror. I'm going to try and keep my eyes open because I have slightly hooded eyes. And I want to make sure that you can see the cut crease even when my eye is open. So I'm just going to be tracing basically above my little crease um, and folds that I have there. Then right here, I'm just going over everything to darken it up. Now I'm using a pencil brush with no product on it. I'm just going above that line to blend it out. And I'm trying to stay on the top portion of the line and not on the bottom so that I don't drag some of that color onto my eyelid. When doing an eyeshadow look like this, it's very important to blend very well and also to transition the colors seamlessly. So it's best to use um, a little bit of product and then build up more. So right here, I'm just going back with the number 9 eyeshadow to blend it in with the number 10. This is a clean brush and I'm just blending those two colors in together. I'm going to be repeating these steps over and over until it reaches the intensity and the darkness that I want. So right here, I'm darkening up the crease, then I'm going to go in again, blend it out with the pencil brush, put in some more of the number 9, then blend it with a clean brush. So with a concealer brush, I picked up some color from this eyeshadow pencil. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is to clean up and define the crease so it can look super cut, super sharp. Um, I like this better than using like a concealer or an eyeshadow primer or something like that because it's kind of liquidy and it's hard to maneuver and it's kind of like slippery almost. So I like this because it gives me more control and I can maneuver, maneuver it and it just looks really precise and it's just easier I find than using like a liquid product. So you could leave the crease like that, but I'm going to darken it up a little bit. Um, I just wanted it to be a little bit more dramatic. I don't know. It looked really pretty, but so I'm just going to do the same steps that I did before. Darken up the crease, blend it with the pencil brush. You guys know all of that. But first, before I did all of that, I applied this glitter. It's from Ulta. Unfortunately, I just found out right now because I was trying to find the name of it. 
um, it's discontinued, I'm sorry. But I know NYX has a lot of great, beautiful glitters, and I'm sure that there's one like this. This one's kind of like an iridescent uh, pink color. So definitely check out NYX's glitters. So what I'm doing is just following the cut crease, and this part is just really is easy and simple. The hardest part is just doing that cut crease. So I'm just tracing, um, I mean following that line, filling it all over my eyelid and that's it and it's beautiful and bright oh and I totally lost a clip of my eyeliner I'm sorry but I just followed the glitter and did it thin so that when my eyes are open I can still see the glitter so now I'm just putting on some concealer on um, underneath my eyes on the bridge of my nose my forehead and my chin blend it out with my finger and then I'm setting it with this NYC loose powder I'm baking my face I find that this step is pretty necessary for me since I'm using this dewy finish foundation and I have oily skin but I love how the foundation and this NYC powder look together um, I love it I love it. it does keep my face pretty matte throughout the day for the rest of my face I'm setting it with this elf HD finishing powder I love this it, it looks really great in photography I think that's what it's made for and um, I'm just lightly dusting that in all the areas where I don't have the loose powder on I'm contouring my nose with an angled brush and that powder listed right there. I like to drag it on the sides of my nose up towards my brow and on the tip and then I blend it in with my finger. Now I'm just dusting off the loose powder with a big fluffy brush and since I dusted some of my nose contour off I'm just going to retouch that, blend it out with my finger. Now I'm going to clean up the sides of it and also lighten it with um, a yellow brightening powder. I just like to drag it on the sides of it and a little bit on top. Next, I'm going to bronze the hollows of my cheeks, my temples, my forehead, and my jawline. Then I'm going to go in with a darker color and I'm only going to keep this like three inches in the hollows of my cheeks. And then I'm going to blend it out with a stippling brush so that there is no harsh lines. With a fluffy brush, I'm just going to apply a little light mauve -y blush to match the eyes. Now I'm going to wet my fan brush and dip it into my highlight and I'm going to highlight the high points of my face which are um, my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow and I like to put a little bit on the bridge. For eyelashes, I'm using these Carl Lashes in the number um, 600. I got these online. They were $1 but if you can't get it online, you need it more um, sooner than that, then you can get the Ardell 106 lashes. They are very similar. They're basically the same thing. Now I'm dragging the number 9 eyeshadow on my bottom lash line and I like to bring it up to the wing. I just like that effect. Then I'm going to grab the number 10 eyeshadow and with a smaller brush, I'm going to apply that close to my lash line. Now I'm very gently dusting that glitter above everything just so it can look very like glittery, dusty, and not so intense down there. But I liked how um, it looks with a little bit more brightness in the inner corners. So that's what I did. I did it only on the bottom inner corner, not in the actual inner corner because right here I'm putting on the e.l.f. highlight that I applied on my face. And I also applied this on my brow bone. Now I'm just coating my bottom lashes with the Maybelline Falsies Black Drama Mascara. And that completes the eyes. For the lips, I wanted to keep it nude, so I applied this Truffle Tease lipstick. It's kind of like a brownie nude, but I wanted more pinky. So I put on this Revlon Primrose over top, and I really liked how it looked. You see how it's pinky nude now? And that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some inspiration from it. I would love it if you guys tried it out. And uh, tag me on Instagram at gabdel 2 I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye.